Okay, so this is weird. So the first shot that I filmed, I had it set at f4. It still set at f4, but the shot is way darker. Let me, let me, let me. We'll film a quick shot, and you'll you'll see. So compare this to the shot I did like like two takes ago. Both of them are being red as. Hey, wait, see, I know I'm noticing it again. The aperture's closed off even more than the last time. But it's still reading as f4. So what seems to be happening is if I go in here, and I watch the video back, okay, and then I go back to record, there's a click and the aperture changes. But it's not changing on here, it's like the lens is just doing that on its own. And if you look at it, so that's kind of what it looks like right now. So that's that's the aperture opening at apparently f4. But what I've noticed, so I'm at apparently f4. But now the exposure is not changing as I go up. The, it should be getting darker, but as I go up, the image stays the same. So now it's at f16. So this is, this is listed as f16. And this is what it looks like. The exact same as the last shot, which was listed at f4. And then when I come back around, I can drop it back down. And so if I drop it down to f4, and we record another video, this is true f4. This is actually what it's supposed to be. And if you look closely, that's what the aperture opening is supposed to be. And I noticed this because I was filming, and I was looking at the lens because it's a YouTube video, and I, I could tell that. I could notice that the aperture was different between takes. But it shouldn't be. So, I think my lens might be broken. So, for the sake of true scientific integrity, I've set up the camera with a different lens, and we're going to try and see if we can replicate the issue. So currently, this is filming at f4. So f4, 50mm lens. Let's do the same thing, see if it see if it breaks it. So I'm going to stop recording. We're going to play the video back. And I don't think playing the video back is like a requirement, it's just going into this menu. And then I go out of it. I heard the lens make, do, did, it did something, there was a noise. But we'll, we'll try and record another clip. So here we go. Did the exact same thing that I did with the other ones. We'll see if it does anything. If this looks the same, then we're good. Or I guess not good at the same time. Because the one thing, right, if this lens is fine, then that means that that lens is the problem. But if it does the same thing with this lens, that means that it's the camera that's the problem, which could be fixed with a firmware update. If it's the lens, I have no idea what to do. We're going to record one more, and I'm going to upload it onto my computer, and we're going to try and see if we can figure anything out. Definitively. Okay. So looking at it, this all looks normal. Again, looking at the lens itself, too. Trying to see if the aperture blades changed. I didn't see anything. It looks exactly the same. Let me try it again. We're going to try it and change the aperture. So we have that shot. Let's drop it to an F8. And that should look... Mm, it doesn't look different on the lens, but I think that could be just because of where the actual aperture blades are in this lens. I think they're actually a lot further back to the point where I can't see them straight through the lens, as opposed to on that lens, where it's, it looks a little different. So I'm going to pull these clips up, 
I want to see if we can figure out what happened. Definitely just confirmed the worst by looking at the footage. So if we look at the shots, this is the first one with the 1835. This is the next one. This is the one after that. I don't know. I'm hoping that's that's clear on your guys' end. I think there's so much. See, there you go. There, now you can see it. Now you can see it. The exposure was very much changing, and it was definitely getting darker, even though the aperture was reading still as the same. And then this was, this is what it was supposed to look like. And then this, so this is actually f4, and when it was like this, the camera was still reading it as f4, which is a problem. But, and this is where, this is where things get more concerning, this was with the other lens, the 50 to 100, and every shot, all three of them look exactly the same. Which is good, it means that lens is completely fine. And then obviously this is the one I took at f8, so it should be changed f4, f4, f4. The exposure was the same across all of them. So that just means that this lens is broken. So I'm going to need to take it into a repair shop, hope that it can get fixed. And if not, that's going to suck. There is one thing I'm going to be able to try before taking it into a repair shop because some people online were saying that sometimes the gold contacts on the inside of the lens don't always like perfectly uh, align with the camera if, if there's something damaged with it. It shouldn't do that at all. Um, they should just align normally. But if there's something wrong with the lens, sometimes that can be the issue. Um, and so, you know, adding a little bit of support underneath the lens can help. I actually had already ordered lens supports because the uh, 50 to 100 is such a big lens that it, it kind of needed it. So I've got that already coming. That'll be here tomorrow. So I can test that out. It's kind of the last hope before I do have to take it into a repair shop. Uh, hopefully that works. And then if not... Uh... So just to be clear as well, firmware is up to date. It is a physical thing with the lens. Just wanted to clear that up. You know, it's, it's, I can't, if I could have fixed it with a firmware update, that would have been amazing, but I've tried and that is not going to be the case. Update, it's a day later. Um, I've been testing the camera out. I got this lens support set up in the hopes that it would maybe like, like I was thinking maybe the connection wasn't perfect. So like, that's what was causing the problems. I've still been getting the same thing. Demonstrate real quick. Record a quick video. You can see the zebras right there. That's showing what's like overexposed. I'll then go here. Keep an eye on the zebras. Because that'll probably change. Yep, now they're gone. Which means the exposure changed. So if we go, if we bump it up to like 16, drop it back down to F. Four, which is what it was reading as. The zebras are back. So, unfortunately, yeah, the lens support was not the solution. This lens has something broken in it, and I'm going to have to take it in to get fixed. Hopefully. Okay. I'm currently in San Diego uh, for a family, like, get-together event. And uh, while we were down here, there was a camera store that I was able to go to. And uh, they were able to take a look at the lens. It was actually kind of crazy. So we go in and the store is like packed. There's so many people there. And we eventually get up um, to the line. Um, and the guy's like, look, um, you know, I can maybe take a look at it. Um, but it probably won't be till Monday because we have so many people. And there's some other stuff that I have to get done. Um, and he was telling me, he was like, if it's a firmware update and that fixes it, it'll take 15 minutes. If it's not, you're gonna have to send the lens to the like Sigma company in like New Jersey or something and actually have them like tear the lens apart and then try and fix it. Um, but then as we're, as we're there, as I'm like, you know, talking with him, everyone kind of gets helped and the store empties out, no one's coming in and it's literally just us. It's like me, and like three other employees that are in this uh, camera store. And the guy's like, 
you know what? We're going to do the four more thing right now because, again, it will take 15 minutes. It can be done with. And so that's what he did. He brought out, there's a, there's a special tool for Sigma lenses uh, that you need to have in order to update the firmware, which is why, like, I've never even heard of updating firmware for a lens before because it's one of those things, one you don't have to do often. The latest firmware for this lens was from 2020, so it's a four-year-old firmware. So you need, like, a special tool to actually connect it to a computer, and then they don't update the firmware that often. But yeah, he just did it. it took him, like, five minutes got it done super super nice it was like 25 bucks which like it's honestly fine the, the the tool itself technically if you wanted to buy it you could update it yourself it's like 50 dollars um and i asked him i said hey is it is it cost effective to just buy the tool yourself um and he was like not not really like unless you have a lot of sigma lenses and you're constantly doing because again the last firmware update was four years ago so if they don't do them that often, you're probably not going to need to use that tool that often. So it's kind of one that you could do it, but it's not not entirely worth it. But yeah, so huge shout out to George's camera for fixing that, for being just awesome, great customer service. And yeah, problem is solved and my lens is good again. See you in the next video.